Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, and I want to talk. I want to give evidence. Um, in my humble opinion, there's very strong evidence that dungeon mastering is shockingly hard. This is a debated subject, um, but I just saw some of the strongest evidence I've ever seen that dungeon mastering is outrageously difficult, and I want to present it to you. And I, I want to push back against the idea that dungeon mastering is EV. And I, um, and the evidence I'm going to present to you is from the film Furiosa. Uh, Anna Taylor Joy's Furiosa, Chris Hemsworth Furiosa, George Miller's Furiosa. It's um, it's very strong proof, in my humble opinion, that it is astonishingly difficult to be a good dungeon master and to dungeon master well. Um, all right, so let's jump into this. So first of all, why are we talking about this? Well, a lot of people, a lot of people want to float this myth that it is easy to be a dungeon master. Hasbro and WotC definitely want to float it. And the reason why is they don't want people to be daunted. They don't want people to be scared. I 100% understand this, but I have a, I have a, a personal duty, in my humble opinion, to be honest and transparent. And I think if you are honest and transparent, it is, you cannot under any circumstance tell anyone that it is easy to dungeon master. It's just not, right? And so let's let's look at some proof of that, okay? In my humble opinion, some proof of that that comes directly out of the Furiosa film. All right, so uh, George Miller is a genius, right? He, he crafted Mad Max, he crafted uh, Road Warrior, he crafted Thunderdome, he crafted Furiosa, and then he crafted the first 97% of the film Furiosa. All of those are brilliant. But at the end, um, I think I think it's there the ending of Furiosa is a betrayal of the viewer, and it is a betrayal of the narrative persona that is Furiosa. It completely 180s everything that's been told to us. Of, Furiosa says like three words until the end of the movie when she kept, by the way, spoilers for Furiosa, excuse me if I didn't say that already. Um, all right. At the end of the film, Furiosa catches Dementis who murder her mother and then has a long conversation with him and then nurses him to health and then makes sure that his life is is preserved. Does that, does that seem like a, like, like a good response to somebody who murdered your mother? No, and it's completely, and Get this, Furiosa says more words in this final, like, big long mental health speech between Dementis and um, Furiosa than she says in the entire film, right? Like, it's a complete betrayal of everything that's been built, right? And so here's the kicker. We are dungeon masters, right? And so we are gonna come in, and to me, the appropriate length of a campaign is nine months. I think you should be running every, I think you should run every week for nine months. Okay. That's nine times four. That's 36. You should have 36 sessions at two hours a piece. That's a 72 hour narrative times five. Okay. So it's 72 times five. Um, I'm just going to do 75 times five would be Three hundred seventy-five. Let's call it three hundred seventy-five, right? Three hundred seventy-five hours, right? Of that's a lot of time, right? And so, if you're telling a campaign, right, and you you like slam that thing into a wall of suck at the last session, you have abominably failed five people who gave you an immense amount of time probably more time than they would give anyone for free. I, and that that's a, I never thought about that, right? Think about that. That is like the only people who give more time to people than um you know than we get as dungeon masters for free are like best friends and spouses. It, it's astonishing, right? Like it, it's a huge amount of time. So if we cock up the ending of a campaign it's a massive betrayal of every... If a dungeon master cocks up the last session of the story, 
it is a huge betrayal because it betrays the time they have invested. And it is, and, and time is the truest currency of life, right? Time is more valuable than money. It truly is, right? And so um, it's really, it's really, really bad, right? So we have this, we are being put into a position where we can betray people, right? And it's, it's bad. And, and here's the point. You don't, it's not even about intelligence, right? It's, it's, and this is, and I've been talking about this, right? This is why I'm talking about this. As dungeon masters, we have to learn to intellectually process, emotionally process, and spiritually process, right? George Miller, Miller, he is a genius. This film was extremely well crafted and then is crumpled with a sledgehammer at the end, right? It's just, it's like, hey, everybody, look at this tough apocalypse movie. It ends with a long mental health speech and careful nurturing. And you're like, wait, what? Like, you know, it's just, so he was, he's, an, he's a genius, right? But he, he had no control of his emotions at the end of this narrative, right? And he reverted to his babe pig in the city, like, oh, hey, everybody, it's all good. Apocalypse, what? <laughs> like, you know, like, it was like, uh, like, what are we watching here? Like, did you forget it that you were like, oh, you forgot that you were doing Mad Max and you thought you were doing Babe Pitting in the City sequel. Okay, you got those mixed up emotionally, not intellectually, right? Emotionally, he was off. And so we have to get it right. Like, we don't have this privilege, right? Because, you know, George Miller owes me two and a half hours of my life, right? And actually, more than that, he owes me all the hours for all those movies. But not 72 hours of a campaign, right? It is extremely difficult to get this right. And in order to do this right, we have to be, like, locked in intellectually, emotionally, and spiritually in order to tell the right story, right? And George Miller forgot that and was paid 150 was paid millions of dollars to forget it right very bad very bad very bad ending not only deconstructing the furiosa movie but i think kind of shredding everything that was ever in the mad max films because this wasn't done by somebody who came george miller was in control of this he has horribly betrayed the narrative persona of mad max the narrative persona of furiosa and just delivered, you know, a mental health speech and nurturing as the end of an apocalypse, like, uh, film. You can't get away with that. And we cannot get away with cocking up our campaigns. We need to get them right, right? And if we don't, it's a betrayal. It's a betrayal to the people that were at our table. And so I think it is astonishingly difficult to Dungeon Master. It's as difficult as being a Hollywood director. I think it's more difficult, actually. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion. The important part's when I hear your humble opinion. We get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider liking, subscribing, and have a fetch millennium.